My name is Cookie Miyagawa. I work in the general affairs department at a certain company. But unfortunately, in my department, there's a boss with a terrible personality named Mr. Fukaina. I also didn't like this boss very much. That useless idiot Yamada! Just because he caught a little cold, taking days off of work. He has no guts! Anytime anyone takes the day off, the boss complains so much. And then he always brags that even if he has a high fever, he goes to the office. Although for us, that's only bothersome. When you put in a notice for leave, he harasses you. While you're taking days off of work, he harasses you behind your back. And then, when you're back from your leave, you get harassed too. It's ridiculous. Mr. Fukana was extremely harsh against any of his subordinates that would take days off. In our general affairs department, for the number of employees there were, there was a lot of work to be done. So even if one person takes a day off, it means that the people that are left have a lot more work to do. To be honest, it's difficult. However, it's not like anybody's getting sick because they want to be sick. The only thing you can say is that it happens to anybody. Anybody could become ill, even me. And I might be the one that can't get to work. However, when it comes to Mr. Fukaina, he doesn't have any sympathy whatsoever. Mr. Fukuina, what do you think of speaking poorly about people just because they're taking days off for being sick? Miss Kamada! If you sit there and say things like that, it brings down everybody's mood, and it makes it difficult for people to take days off as well. Please think about your standing in this company. Oh, is that so? Well, sorry about that. Well, then, as the boss, let me get back to my job. As for the work of for Yamada, who took the day off, I'll leave it to you, Miss Kamada, because I'm busy. Yes, sir. And that's why Miss Kamada is amazing. You can say that to his face. Miss Kamada was a senior colleague in the general affairs department, and when I joined the company, she was the person in charge of training. She's not normally the type to stand out or be very flashy, but when it came down to her work, she was well known to be serious and extremely good at her job. The company had a lot of trust in her. She was fair towards everybody, and whenever anybody was in the wrong, she would be the first to stand up and correct them. And I really looked up to this Miss Kamada. Miss Kamada, I finished my work for today. Is there anything I can help you with? What? You're finished already? Yes, I saw that you were given Mr. Yamada's work, so I thought that I'd be able to help you if I finished my work, and I tried to finish it as quickly as possible. <laughs> thank you, but I'm also finished already. What? All of it? Yeah, all of it. There was something that really irritated me, so my hands just kept moving, but then I was finished before I knew it. This is why you're so good at your job. I couldn't help at all. <laughs> More than anything, I'm happy you tried to help me. Thank you. Oh, sure. Hey, you two over there! Are your hands free? If you're empty-handed, you should hurry up and tell me! There's plenty of work to be done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Fukaina was an irritating. But I wanted to be good enough at my job that Miss Kamada would be able to rely on me, and so I worked hard. Then one day, during lunch break when I was at work, I got a phone call from my mother back home. Oh, really? He fought until the end, Grandpa. That's right. He fought really hard for one month from the day that they told us it was going to be his last. Well then, the funeral's going to be soon, right? Yes. Tomorrow night is the wake, and the funeral is planned for the day after tomorrow. You'll be able to come, right, Koki? We are allowed bereavement leave at my company, so I'll apply straight away. I'll head over there tomorrow in the morning. Alright. Be careful on your way over, okay? Thanks. They said it was going to be soon, so I thought I was going to be prepared for this, but... It's still hard. But I'm going to leave grieving about my grandfather until tomorrow. For today, I need to finish up my work and do a handover so that I can take days off starting tomorrow. Sir, there's something I would like to speak to you about. Do you have some free time right now? Yeah, what? I just received a phone call that my grandfather's passed away. Tomorrow evening is the wake and the funeral is planned for the day after tomorrow. 
I would like to apply for three days of bereavement leave. Thank you very much. Ah, you're gonna take three whole days off? Yes. I believe the contract states that for secondary family, we're able to receive three days of bereavement leave. Just because you can take three days, are you going to take three days during that time? Who do you think's gonna take care of your work? I do feel terrible that I'll be inconveniencing everybody on the team. I'm going to get as much work as I can within today finished, and I will prepare everything for a handover as well. First of all, why would you take days off just because your grandpa passed away? I'd understand it if he was your actual parent, but it's just your grandpa, isn't it? Excuse me? Excuse me, sir. How can you speak to somebody like that when somebody is struggling after their family passed away? Miss Kamada. Yes. Now that I think about it, for bereavement leave at this company, you get your salary during that time too. <laughs> Must be nice. You don't even have to do any work and you get to receive a salary. What am I to do with all these spoiled brats? What do you think work is? Bereavement leave is written in the employee manual and employees have the right to take bereavement leave. Of course, that includes you too, Mr. Fukuina. I'm sure you would also use it if something unfortunate happened to your family, wouldn't you? So why don't you use your imagination more and think before you speak with a little bit more empathy? I would never take days off of work for something like that. Is that so? It seems that I won't be able to receive your understanding as my boss. But because it is the company regulation, I believe Mr. Miyayakwa will be taking three days off of bereavement leave. During that time, I will take over all of his work. So it should be fine, right? Fine, whatever. Sorry for stepping out of line, but I thought it would be even more of a problem if you and the boss got into a fight, so... No, you really saved me by stopping me. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Once you calm down, Make sure you speak to the department manager, too. The department manager is an understanding person, so you'll be fine. Yes. When did you receive the call? It was just now. I went straight to speak to the boss about it, so... Really? Well, you don't need to pay any mind to anything that the boss said. Plus, you can leave early today. Don't worry, I'll take care of all the rest. Since I'm going to be receiving time off starting tomorrow, there's no way that I'm going to leave midway through today without completing today's work. I'm sure my grandfather would tell me to finish my work before as well, because my grandfather was a hardworking man. All right, but don't push yourself too much. Thank you very much. I was extremely furious when the boss said such heartless words to me, but thanks to Miss Kamada, I was able to calm down. And completing my tasks for the day, I did my handover of my work to Miss Kamada. And as soon as I got home, I started packing up in order to head to my grandfather's house tomorrow. The next morning, while taking my time to remember the memories I had with my grandfather, I headed towards his house. It takes about three hours by bullet train to get to my grandfather's place. I arrived at the destination. Things were pretty busy. My grandfather knew a lot of people, so there were a lot of people there to pay their respects. However, I was really glad that I was able to see my grandfather's peaceful resting face at the very end. During my time off, I'm very sorry I had doubled all of your work. Thanks to you, I was able to attend the funeral of my family. Thank you very much. Please, enjoy this with everybody. Oh, well, thank you. Mr. Fukaina, while I was on leave, I'm sorry to have troubled you. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, look who's finally back. I was starting to think you weren't ever going to come back at this rate. Miss Kamada, I was able to attend the funeral, thanks to you. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. You don't need to worry about the work. I took responsibility and finished it all. Yes, from the moment I knew I was handing over the work to you, Miss Kamada, I wasn't worried about anything. Um, but there's no denying that I caused you a lot of trouble. So please, let me take you out to dinner to thank you sometime. Oh. Are you sure? I'm not going to hesitate and accept the invitation? Yes, I would be very happy if you didn't hesitate and accepted the invitation. Following week, we made plans to go out to dinner after work. And then, when that Monday evening came around... This is a restaurant owned by a friend of mine. Oh, really? Welcome! Oh, Koki! Long time no see! Who's that with you? It has been a while. This is one of my senior colleagues at work who's always looking after me. Good evening. 
Oh, is that so? Please, I hope you enjoy your time here. Oh no! Shoot! Of all the people, the boss is here! I wonder if the boss comes here often. I'm going to pretend like I didn't notice. What would you like to have? This is my first time coming, so I, I don't know what to get. You can take your time to think about it. Oh yeah, Koki! I heard that your grandfather passed away. I found out on the news. Yeah, unfortunately, he did. Huh? The news? It was on the news? The death of your grandfather, Koki? Yeah, my grandfather is actually the president of Miyagawa Motors. Did he just say the president of Miyagawa Motors? Oh, I also saw that on the news. I had no idea that the president of the company was your grandfather. Wait a minute, does that mean that your father is the CEO of Miyagawa Motors? Yes. Your father's about to become the next president, right? So, are you going to be joining your family soon, too? What? You're going to leave the company? No, no, I'm not thinking about that at all right now. Both my brother and my sister's husband are at the company, and because they're both active on the board of directors, I think that my brother or my sister's husband will become the next CEO. I see. Bastard Miyagawa! I had no idea that he was part of the bloodline of such a huge company. Miyagawa Motors is the company that I wanted to get a job at, but I failed the interview and couldn't get in. I wonder, if I have Koki putting a good word for me, maybe I can get a job at Miyagawa Motors. Of course, in a good position. The next day, when I got to work, Mr. Fukuna was acting very differently from usual. Oh, Koki! Good morning! Good, good morning? Oh, come on! You don't need to be so stiff! You and I are mates, Koki! What? What kind of mates? How about we go get a drink today after work? There's a lot I want to ask you. Uh, what can I help you with? It's not really something to help me with, but I just wanted to ask you about your dad's company. Actually, I've always admired Miyagawa Motors, to the point where it was my dream company when I was first job searching. Was he listening to our conversation yesterday? Uh, I'm not involved with my father's company, so there's nothing I can answer for you. Well then, why don't you bring your big brother? No. My brother is quite busy, so there's definitely no way. Well then, the two of us can go and get a drink together first. I'm sorry. I have plans, so I won't be able to go. Ever since he found out that my family owned a major business, Mr. Fukuna started trying to suck up to me. Any chance he could. It seems that he was interested in my family's business, but there was no way that I would want to introduce him to the company, knowing the words that he said up until now. And so, I continued to run away from him. But then, during that time... Huh? My father-in-law passed away? Why? Bereavement leave. I think I'll be able to take it, but... Boss, are you okay? Apparently, my wife's father passed away. What? That's a big deal! You need to hurry up and help your wife and support her! No, but... There's no way I'm going to leave early or take days off of work over something this little. It's not little at all! And even if it's okay with you, I'm sure that your wife and your wife's mother will be troubled by it. Please, pull it together! That's right. I'm sure you're worried about the fact that you yourself said previously that you would never take days off of work for something like that. But please, just take bereavement leave like anybody would. There's no need to be stubborn when it's not helping anybody. Don't worry about it. Sure, I'm sorry. I'll leave the rest to you. Now that he himself is in that position, maybe he finally understands. Though it's sad that he refused to get it until he was placed in that situation. That's true. And then, after his bereavement leave, Mr. Fukuna came and apologized to me. When your grandfather passed away, I said some awful things. I'm sorry about that. 
I was estranged from my grandparents, and I had never experienced the loss of anybody close to me, so I didn't know anything. It's fine, as long as you understand now. Well, I'm sorry. From that day forward, Mr. Fukaina no longer complained about people who took days off of work, and he also stopped trying to suck up to me. And then, I also feel like he thinks before he speaks about how his words might affect other people than he used to before. Three months later... Is it just me, or has the boss gotten better recently than he used to be? I think so too. I feel like he's become nicer to people, and he's easier to talk to than he used to be. Although, when he is a little bit off as usual, I see him getting yelled at by you, Kaede. But these days when I tell him, he's actually started fixing those things, so I think he's really grown. I also want to hurry up and grow into a person that you can rely on, Kaede. What? I've actually been relying on you for a long time now, Koki. Really? Yeah, really. Ever since I invited her out to dinner that one time to thank her, Miss Kaede Kamada and I became friendly enough to go out to eat together frequently. And now, I have the pleasure of dating her, with marriage in mind for the future. My girlfriend, who is able to judge fairly and say her opinion out loud, is still somebody I look up to. But ever since we started dating, she also shows me a cute side of her that likes to be spoiled. And she continues to steal my heart. The way things used to be done are different from before. So it is important to hear from different perspectives to build a better future together. Hope that everything works out. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.